Good morning, my friends. Today I want to share with you the process that I'm following to write my book or speak my book. When I wrote my first number one best-selling book, Fearless Women at Work, I hired a coach uh, through Quantum Leap, which was a one-year program that I joined when I launched the business. And one of the coaches taught me her methodology. Her name is Anne McKindu. And I work with her coaches to learn her methodology. And what it has done is it's allowed me to have faith and believe that whatever idea I have about writing a book is possible for me. So in my second book, which I haven't shared the title with you yet, but I will soon, I am done with the process of, I'm actually gonna grab my notes, with the process of creating the structure for my book. That's where I sat down and laid out three sections and under the three sections, I have a total of 30 chapters. And once I have that, what it's called a manuscript, manuscript grid, I then take those chapters and those sections and I write trigger sentences so that I know exactly how I'm going to start every subsection of my book. And on the wall, what you see is these blank post-it notes because my job this morning, on a Saturday morning, is to take the structure of my book and write down the three sections of my book and then create that structure on this storyboard. Then once I have that there, the next step is to stand with my recorder and record my book in 30 minute intervals. And this year, I'm gonna try something new, which is called Otter. It's a free app that I get thousands of minutes for free. So instead of recording and then transcribing through ref.com, I'm going to record directly into Otter and then I can send myself the transcripts. So I'm saving myself money and one additional step of having to send the transcript, the recordings to be transcribed. And that's how I'm going to speak my book. And what you will notice is that what is not so easy sometimes for us is to sit and write. And typically when we write, we get in our heads, we're talking, we're thinking about the grammar, we, we sometimes talk to ourselves about, oh my God, what am I doing? So a lot of fear creeps in. But when you are speaking, especially about something that you're very motivated about and passionate about, you tend to flow. And that's what this methodology that Anne McKindu taught me allows me to do and this is what I'm doing for my second book. I wanted to share be the behind the scenes with you so that if you believe that you have a message that you want to share with the world and you've been wanting to do that for a very long time that you don't give up and that you don't think oh this is not for me. And the other thing that I also do as I get ready to write is I put myself in the right state. So typically I will have a candle lit I will have my spa music playing in the back, and then I'm good to go. So I wanted to share that with you. I hope this is valuable. And reach out to me if you have an idea to write a book and you've been hesitating. I would love to give you any encouraging advice that will help you get your message out there. Have a wonderful day.